Welcome back, fishing freaks. The weather is gonna take a turn for the worst today. High winds coming in. There's dark clouds this way. It's kind of like front conditions this way. Just kind of bright skies. There's only a few hours, according to the weatherman, to have some peace from the rain. You know, if I'm gonna go, this is the only chance I got. So I wanted to take you guys along for the ride today for just a few hours going out to the lake. What are these fish gonna do right before a storm is coming? The wind is high, it's dropping temperatures. I don't know, it could shut these fish down, it could turn them on. We're gonna go experiment and see what happens. Hey, how you doing? Just a fishing freak. You're fishing free? Oh yeah, watch you all, right. all the time, man. Thanks, buddy. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm gonna get in there. Well, Hope you guys you, tear them up, man. Appreciate it. You too. Have a good one. Take care. <laughs> Had a fishing freak right there. He's watching the weather. He's doing the same exact thing that I am. He's trying to get a fishing trip in. Uh, he's fishing from the shore, but he's bouncing around different spots trying to trying to get them. We're both kind of in a hurry. Since I see the storm back there, I'm just gonna haul button and uh, get out on the water, and then we could talk about what occurs later. Heck, it may not amount to much at all, but we gotta try. That's what we do as fishing freaks. y'all I see a bunch of birds lined up on the bank over here that's telling me there's some shad going on shad could be spawning that's a good deal so I'm gonna throw probably crankbait lipless crank and a chatterbait and this is the lake where we did a Guga challenge the other day the water was flowing out of it really hard I don't know if they're still pulling water or not but if they are this point should be decent. Some of y'all might get freaked out about fishing in like the windiest part of the lake. They say, oh, springtime, you gotta, you gotta go where the real calm water is. Sometimes that's true. But when there's like a low pressure situation, like we have right now, I like to go where it's nasty. I like to go where there's deep water close by, wind's blowing, there's bait, there's a spawning bay close, but I could get Pre, post spawn, I can get both kind of fish. Those birds are up there for a reason too, I'll tell you. Let's see if I've got any chartreuse and white spinner baits. I need you right there. Chartreuse and white for this dirty water. It's windy as heck. This is like spinner bait day, big time. Overcast, wind, get your spinner baits out. It's about to go down. A lot of bait moving around. Woo -wee. There's one right on the bank. Right on the bank. It's got to be eating that shad spawn. There we go. That's what's going on for sure. Barely had it. That spinner bait's really good. I could throw it right up on the bank and don't have to worry about getting snagged. Now, anytime you got these flooded bushes like this, this is called buck brush. That is normally outstanding in April and May, especially when there's not a lot of other cover in the lake, like this, this place. There's no grass, there's not a lot of lay downs or timber docks. So right now we got two bites, both very shallow both on a square bill. Oh, there's one. Spinnerbait fish. What are you? Oh, there we go. Yeah, decent largemouth right there. Decent largemouth right there. There we go. Pretty decent fish. Slammed at spinnerbait. Yeah, baby. This fish ought to be feeding up like crazy today. Fishing this on the, the LFG rod, by the way. It's really good for spinner baits. Spinner baits, chatter baits, small Texas rigs, jigs. The meat and potatoes. Usually what I'll do on days like this is I'll go just go to a close lake and then I'm not gonna go very far. You know, in case there's bad thunderstorms, I can get out of there. I had 
had a bad experience one time with that, almost getting struck by lightning, and I was a ways away from the ramp and said I'd never do that again. No fish is worth getting struck by lightning, I'll tell you that. Wow, wow, we are getting in it now. I got the trolling motor on seven and I can't even move forward. There we go. That is a white bass. Man, you better watch out now. I will box y'all up. Put some Texas peat on you. Seriously, that's not a bad idea for today. People doing yoga over there while I'm just getting blown around in the wind like a kite. Oh man, just made a little run. Got wet for sure. Woo. Had to get in a little calm water. I just cannot even, normally I like to get in that rough stuff if I know the fish are there, you know, but right now I just can't even control the boat or nothing. It's a bad deal, ladies and gentlemen. Bunch of buck brush back here. I was actually going on a trail run the other day and I came across this cove and I was like, man, you know what? That looks pretty good. So that's, that's the reason I came over here. Caught any bass? Any white bass? No? <clears throat> well, I think I'm gonna stick with this spinner bait, chatter bait, um, crank bait. Try to jig in there. They ought to be feeding on those shad. I know they're feeding on those shad for sure. Plus we got shad spawn probably happening. I could just cover so much more water with a spinner bait than I can with a jig. Although it's, well, the two, these two baits are probably my favorite lures of all time. When the shad spawn, I'd usually do it at night. They'll do it around the moon as well, but they gotta have something to stick their eggs on. So they need a little uh, brush, they'll use docks, they'll, they'll use grass something they can stick their eggs to. It's not like bass. They got these sticky adhesive eggs and they gotta put them on something. There's one right on the bank. I mean, they're right on the bank right now. That's three. That's a little peanut there, but swiped, I didn't even get them in the mouth. These shad have to be spawning. That's, they're just right up against the bank. I just ran down the lake. I'm, on, I'm still on the main lake right now. There's not a whole lot of pockets over here. Man, I'm seeing tons of shad on the graph. So I don't know. I'm just going to literally bank fish the main lake. I don't have many options at this point. I could have crushed the white bass out there on that big main lake point, but um, I was getting drenched. That wasn't, wasn't a whole lot of fun. Good gosh. This is good though. I, the other times I've fished this lake, I haven't seen activity up shallow. There's a fish right there. That is not, that is a white bass. Right on the bank. Okay. I have a feeling that I could probably tear these guys up today. I mean, that's my third one, so I'm gonna throw them in the well, see what comes of it. Well, these birds know what's up. Oh my God, a smallmouth. Smallmouth just hit that thing. Holy cow. Oh, smallmouth. What? Smallmouth. That smallmouth actually came out of the water it hit the blade on my spinnerbait. Didn't even get the hook. Just hooked up on another fish. Large mouth. Dang, he's fighting hard. Oh, there's a decent fish right there. Smoked that spinnerbait. He engulfed it. All right, see you, dude. You see these birds, they're just, they're right on the bank. They're looking, these shad, and I have seen shad come up as I throw my bait up onto the bank. It's probably the best time of the year to throw a spinner bait. 
flash, that blade, that's what they're keyed into. All I gotta do is just sit right there, wait for them to swim up, spawn, do their thing, and they're just gorging themselves. Ah, oh, come on, just had one right there. I tried to get it, knock the blades around. Starting to develop a little pattern here now that I, I can just go fish this on the bank. You know, all, all well, I don't have all day. I don't, I don't have very long at all. I think the wind is shifting right now and that rain's gonna start coming, but it's just a little roll cast right up to the bank. That's the key. Those fish are literally looking right at the bank for those shad to, to come off of there. And if you're not almost hitting the, the bank, you know, the rocks, whatever it is, you're not gonna get bit. So that's when that little roll cast is key. Just a little whip, and then stop it right before it gets to the bank. There he is. That's a better fish. Thought it was. Oh, God dang, they're just fighting hard. That's another white bass. Mixed in there right with the bass. All right, let's get after it. We don't have much time to fish. And we're gonna have to get it back on the trailer. There's another one right on the bank, geez. Oh, that might be a white bass, I don't know. Just hammering it right on the bank. Oh yeah, nice white bass right there. Oh, that guy in there. Oh, I like fishing like that, that's fun. If I could catch me a nice three or four pound smallmouth, I'd, oh my gosh, man. Another one hit, cranked it right there. I think it's another white. No, it's a largey. No, it is white. Holy crap, these fish are freaking fired up right now. Spinnerbait fishing right on the bank. Gotta love it, baby. I think the steeper banks are key, like where there's a nice little drop off. You know, the shallower banks, because of the waves, you know, they can't really get right up next to uh, the bank because they're just getting sloshed around. But with a steeper bank, they've got a little room underneath them to kind of work with those waves. Oh, it's rocking. It's rocking and rolling now, folks. Oh, got him. Oh, right on the bank. Where are you? Another white. I'm not gonna eat you. Looks like alligator tried to eat him. Okay, we're back in the big waves now. Oh, there's one. Come on, baby. Largey. Oh, it! Another one. I think it's a white bass. Yep. Ugh. Going in. All right. Got ourselves a little dinner going. Spinnerbait's really the best because I can get it right on the bank. The shad are still spawning. The overcast conditions, the low pressure, it's still got the shad up there. You know, the sun, the sun's not out and these, these fish are triggered to feed right now. Unfortunately, I don't have very long to fish, so I'm gonna get right back to it and I'll give you more, more tips when I get off the water. I love days like this where I can just chunk a spinnerbait. Just need a big bite to happen. But this pattern is working. All right, fishing freaks, we gotta try one more spot. It's a wavy baby out here today. I'm gonna work this stretch in to this bank where it calms down a little bit. We're gonna call it quits. Like, whoo, baby, I can smell that rain. It's coming quick. There's one. Oh, yeah, it's a good white bass, it looks like. Freaking crushed it. Yep, that's a good one. Good one there. 
Get up in here, baby. Oh, dang. My line just broke. That fish's gill plate just got on my, my line and cut it so sharp. Oh, getting smacked. Getting smacked around. I love it, man. I love it. I don't care what's eating it. Oh my gosh, the shatter just coming out of the water right there. There he is. What do we have here? Oh, that's a hammer. That's a hammer largemouth. That's a largemouth. Get in here, baby. Look at that fat guy right there. <laughs> Look how fat that guy is. Oh, they load up on it a lot more than the white bass. That's a pretty fish. Look how fat, gorged up it is. That is awesome. Woo. All right, I think I'm gonna end on that one. Too good. All right, we made it. We made it just in time. It's starting to rain. I gotta get these fish out. We're gonna ice them down. The girls are out doing a little shopping. They're gonna get some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And we're gonna marinate those bad boys and I'm gonna show you the recipe and everything like that. But we gotta cover the silver bullet up, get the fish out. We got a lot of work to do in the rain, so I gotta get, out. I gotta get off the camera. Well, got the fish in the cooler, icing them down. We're gonna be doing a catch and cook later. I like to ice fish down for a little while before I start to fillet them. I feel like the meat firms up a little bit and it's a little bit better. Today it was all about the shad spawn. So I'd been out to this lake a few times this year and nothing was going on up shallow. Me and Rob were catching them in East Texas. I was like, man, this lake is normally pretty good. It just hadn't unleashed yet. So I wanted to go out there and check today and see what these fish were doing. Pretty much the whole lake had moved up shallow. The water finally got to 64, 65 degrees. The ton and the shad were up shallow and they were spawning. That was the key. And all of the predator fish were up there feeding on those spawning shad. It wasn't a super obvious spawning because when I would go up there, obviously the waves and everything, I couldn't see the actual shad flickering. But when I would throw my bait up there, I would see the shad pop out of the water. Uh, obviously the birds were lining the bank and then the fish were right on the bank, that's the key thing. So when the shad are spawning, usually that's around the new moon, full moon. Uh, they usually do it at night and early morning is key, but today we had low light conditions. So that lasted longer and there's really no better bait when the shad are spawning than a spinner bait. Lathes just flashing and get some going. But that is the kind of day that I love, man. Throwing the meat and potatoes right up there on the bank and just throwing at targets. Making a little roll cast here and fishing in the wind. You know, a lot of people get kind of intimidated fishing in the wind, but man, especially today, it was working where the, the shad were pushed up on the bank. They had nowhere to go. Uh, the wind was just working in my favor and it can work under your favor too. Hope you guys learned something on the technique portion of today's video. If you want to check out the catch and cook, it's going to be pretty extensive. Um, never done this recipe before, so it ought to be a lot of fun. If you want to stay tuned for that, subscribe right here and catch us tomorrow on the next video. We're going to get OSG in the kitchen. The whole family, LFD, is coming home from a tournament. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I think everybody's going to enjoy the fish. So stay tuned, and we will see you then.